I finally beat Final Fantasy 16, and it was good. Final Fantasy 16 is the first game I ever got my greasy little fingers on, and I was not disappointed. Although frustrating at times, I really enjoyed the game. I really enjoyed the gameplay, the story, and really above all of it, I enjoyed the boss fights. I didn't enjoy the boss fights like I did, like I do Souls boss fights. Not, like I didn't enjoy them because they were so like difficult and rewarding once you beat them. I enjoyed them because they were just fucking spectacles. Every single one of these, and I, I cannot stress this enough, every single boss fight, like main boss fight, is the most over-the-top, epic anime shit I think I have ever witnessed in a video game. And it was fucking awesome awesome it made me go oh it was fucking nuts dude it was really cool i really enjoyed the the boss fights you can tell they took the time perfectly crafty the most outrageously epic arenas and cutscenes and villains and in, 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 in fight sequences i've ever fucking seen in a video game i mean the opening boss fight with it's not really a spoiler with the phoenix and um something else is fucking insane. It had me so fucking excited. I peed a little bit like my dogs used to when they were little. It, it, and it only got more insane from there. The boss fights are by far the best part about this game. I, I can't stress it enough. They are so fucking cool. Everything in the game is extremely cool. It's like they went to the board meeting and the guy who who directed this game came in and just with a big poster that just said, cool. It was all super fucking cool. Our combat was cool. The the boss fights were cool. The cuts, a bunch of cutscenes were super cool. Our, all the characters are really cool. Everything was just super fucking cool. The story overall, I really enjoyed. It did drag on a bit, but I was invested. And the ending was actually good. Uh, it wasn't great, but it was good. Like it, it, it all, even almost made me cry a little bit. But I'm such a fucking alpha male. That my tear ducts have been crusted dry by the blood of my enemies for a long time now. So that didn't happen. Don't you worry. It did tug on my heartstrings uh, a good bit. It, you know, the story isn't something like fucking God sent. It's not the most amazing like story I've ever, I've ever watched unfold, I guess, or played. But it was good. Overall, enjoyable. And at the end, satisfying. And they did, they did death really well in the game. Which I thought I should point out. They, they did do deaths really well in the game. I'm not going to get into spoilers. But they, I really enjoyed the deaths in the game. And all the characters for the most part are really interesting. There's one character. I had no fucking clue where she came from. Or why she was there. But she was there. I mean she wasn't bad. But I just didn't understand why the fuck she was there. But enough about that. Let's dig into the combat uh, just a little bit. Uh, I can't talk about the specifics. Because spoilers but overall it was super fucking easy so if you're looking for a game that's not like a challenge or anything it's just kind of enjoyable this is a good game for you because it's so fucking easy there's even little which i think is a good feature there's little like uh rings and amulets that basically play the game for you so they make it all so it'll do combos when you just press square so you can literally just sit there and press square and beat the game but i didn't it's not really that fun that way i, I think the combat mechanics were really cool and I, um, but the only only reason you would use a lot of them is kind of just to maximize the epicness of the fights so there's only a couple enemies that really made you use all of your abilities i'll say the only time i ever really did it was when i wanted to maximize damage just so i could get the fucking fight over with or if the dude was actually really tricky like this isn't a spoiler my my favorite boss in the game was a side boss it was a dude that you could have completely passed up easily you could have completely passed him up easily and he was a fucking flying eyeball that i i fought just out of nowhere and it was the coolest fight of the whole game not the coolest but the the most enjoyable future me jumping in here to say this real quick now with your character in the combat surprisingly there is decent build variety it's nothing crazy like elden ring but it's pretty decent it's good like you you most likely would if you and your buddy played through the game at the end of it you probably have a different a little bit of a different setup than your buddy and i think that's pretty good that's pretty cool it wasn't difficult like overall i died maybe 10 to 15 deaths and i'm not really exaggerating i think i'm actually going over and I think six of them 
were to this one dude I, uh, I didn't beat, but he was like uh, another side boss, and he was 10, 12 levels, I think, over-leveled for me. So that was like, I mean, I couldn't, I was, it was literally, I was going up there and hitting him with a fucking toothpick or a wolf ball bat, and he was hitting me with a goddamn gravity hammer from Halo. So I did, I did enjoy the game. I want to re, re say this. I do, do like the game before I tear it the fuck apart. The level design in this fucking game is atrocious. It's absolutely horrible. And I, I drew a little diagram. All right. What's up? I'm over here now. Here's my diagram. This this is the level design of the game. I'm not really kidding. Like this is the level design of the game. So you start here and you work your way this way. You're running, you're getting, oh, there's like a potion there. There's loot there. Ooh, there's a little chest. Okay, this is cool. And you run, you run into your first group of enemies. You kill the group of enemies. There's like three waves, usually up to three waves. It's not that many. It's like usually there's a bunch of little groups of these guys that you run into. But basically you hold forward, kill the, kill these enemies. And then once you finish these small enemies here, you go forward again until you meet more small enemies and then one medium enemy who is a little harder and he takes a little bit to kill he's not terrible he's not the worst thing in the world but this guy he's reused a fuck ton it's most likely if you play the game he's most likely going to be the fucking dude with the two daggers that flips around and kicks you and shit it's not anything special so you go you fight the small enemies you fight the medium enemies and then you make your way through forward again there's no deviation just straight forward through a hallway to a mini boss as said down here the mini boss is right here now this this does change a couple times as repeated but the mini bosses aren't like terrible they're they can be they're fun at, at some points but it's tedious because at end all be all you want this guy you want to get to this guy but we're not there yet so you fight the mini boss you kill the mini boss easy first try and then you hold forward again until you get here. Here, a cutscene initiates. Stuff happens, blah, 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 blah. And then you fight the big boss. That's it. That's the level design. You hold forward, kill some small enemies, kill medium enemies, kill larger enemies, and then you kill the big boss. Hold forward. There's no deviation from that. There is zero incentive to go explore the level because there is nothing to fucking explore. There might be one or two paths like off here that has like a chest there or maybe a couple more enemies. That's fucking it. It does not deviate from this whatsoever at all at, at any point. At, at the end, it kind of deviates. So at the end, it's the same thing, but more like a shit ton more of enemies another mini boss and then the big boss um and then it only skips it only skips this part once it only takes you to the big boss once in the entire game like i really wish they would have just skipped most of this fucking part because walking through is so essentially what what it boiled down to is it made the world feel like just one long hallway and you were just walking cutscene to cutscene, fighting a few enemies in the middle. That's all the level design was. That's it. There was nothing like different. There was nothing like cool to explore. There was no incentive to explore at all because I mean, it take your character is so fucking slow by the way. And it takes so long to get from point A to point B and you don't want to backtrack because there's no point in backtracking and you're not going to get anything worth fucking getting. Because everything, I don't know, it's it's not difficult in the first place, so you don't need an upgrade, like, at all. And then when you find the upgrades, it's not going to be an upgrade that's crazy. I don't know. I didn't explore at all, so maybe I'm wrong, but there was no there was no point for me to explore. I was trying to fucking finish the game. The game, I think, is a little too fucking long. I think it, it, was, it took me 35 hours to beat the game. I think it could have been 25, 30 max. It, it did not need to be that long. These little sections with the fucking hallways... And the little enemies could have been cut the fuck out. Um, they, they could have figured out a better way to get you from cutscene to cutscene other than just holding forward and fighting occasional boss, occasional enemies. Another thing that drove me absolutely crazy is in between the main story missions, main storylines, those little hallways, you had another thing. Another hallway. But this hallway was littered with NPCs. 
And they wanted you to be a fucking detective. They wanted you to be Sherlock Holmes of this universe. You would come in there and they'd be like, oh, oh, please, please figure out who, who, who killed this. Who took my candy? Who took this other thing? Who, who did this? We have people stealing stuff and selling it back. We have people stealing stuff. Who sold, stole the stuff? So you would go to a place you were going to. You had to get in there somehow. And then you would talk to somebody. They would be like, ooh, I can open the door for you. But you have to do one thing for me. And then you will be like, what is it? And they will be like, please find these. And you would be like, oh, man, I got to find those. And you would go. You would talk to three NPCs. You would talk to them. They would be like, hmm, I think they're there. Hmm, I think they're there. Hmm, I think they're there. Then you would go talk to the original NPC. You'd be like, hmm, this is what they said. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. And then, and then you would go kill whatever you had to fucking kill for them. Do whatever you had to do. Come back. Tell them, oh, I did it. And then they would be like, oh, okay. And then they open the door for you. It's just it's just like an hour and a half of shit they didn't need. God, it's giving me flashbacks. Give me PTSD. I didn't know it was a detective game when I got it. <laughs> it was so fucking terrible, dude. It took you like an hour or two. And some, some sit-downs I had to play this game was literally just doing detective missions like that. And it was so fucking horrible. Because you would talk to the NPCs and they would take so long to talk about bullshit that I don't care about. And it... Oh my god, it was so frustrating. I've um I've never like played a game that was more walk cutscene to cutscene than than this game. This game is literally just you walk from cutscene to cutscene with a few fights in the middle and it's really really wild. The game could almost be more enjoyable as a show, a TV show or a movie. Now, I do think the combat's fun, but the the detective filler, the level design just brings it so far down for me that it made it not really it was a struggle to get through I mean it took me a month to beat because I just couldn't play it for more than a couple hours at a time sometimes because I get so fucking frustrated with the damn pointless detective work and nothing was happening that I just was fucking didn't want to play but when I did get to the boss fights I fucking loved it dude oh another thing I wanted to tell talk, talk about so the levels, you would like run through like this area to get to another area. And it was like, yeah, we're going this way. And we'll have like the marker. And then you would go, you would run. Sometimes you would literally run from like this cutscene and you would run like 10 feet. And then it would like kind of stop sending you into another cutscene. And then it will pop you out back to the map. And then just make you fast travel to the place you were going to. So it was like, there was no fucking point in doing any of that. And walking that way, you could have just done a little cutscene montage of them walking through the fucking desert. Like, it doesn't make sense why... I don't understand why they didn't have us just seamlessly go from this area to that area. I w they could have just connected it all in one big hallway, because that's what it was anyways. That's what the fucking world feels like. And it just would break up immersion. Like, something would happen, and it would be like, zoom, ding, ding, go here. And you go there, and it's like, what the fuck? I don't understand. Now, my small, stupid opinions, the Mughal or Mogul, whatever the fucking thing is, the, this thing um, is the dumbest thing ever. I don't know why. I just fucking hate that thing. Also, I wanted a bigger sword. I got a bigger sword. It wasn't huge. It wasn't like a berserk sword, but it was pretty big. But I wanted a bigger sword. Come on. A bigger sword equals cool. Now, how cool this game was, it was pretty cool. But every time after a fight, your character and your companion sheath their weapon. The sheaths were fucking stupid. <laughs> I really wish they would sheath the weapon cooler. Like, your main character, Clive, he would just put it on his back. And I've always hated, like, the back sheath because it doesn't make any sense to me. You would have to, like, go bring your arm all the way out and, like, tilt it back with the other hand just to get it into the sheath because the sheath's like on your back and the sword's huge but he just like swings it around like it clips in there and it, it just looks stupid it just phases through the sheath which is dumb and then um the other one the other ones were just like they were just like they wouldn't do anything like fucking like like super anime which i wish they did but that's just a stupid complaint also one good thing I wanted to talk about this is also kind of dumb the cape i've never seen a cape so good in a video game the cape didn't clip through your feet didn't do any of that the cape just was there it, it flowed nicely when you ran it would kick up off your feet it wouldn't clip through when you like 
jumped it would jump and like the physics would go down it, it never the cape never clipped through the character never not in the entire 35 hours i put into this game i never saw his cape clip through the character which is wild okay so a quick recap cutscenes are fucking amazing the boss fights are fucking amazing the story is good the combat is good level design is fucking terrible the in-between missions between main stories is fucking terrible and the game is super fucking easy a little too long super easy but overall i think it was a good game so my overall score for it is going to be an 84 it's a good game it could have been better and it should have been better you know it, it's it's a good game but a couple things really took away from my enjoyment of the game and that really is upsetting to me i really Wish it could have been better. This is my first Final Fantasy game, and and I did enjoy it, but I don't. I just I just really wish it wasn't one long hallway. It it is worth the play, I would say. Like a nighttime game, you go, you do a little bit, a little here and there, but Jesus Christ, the filler shit is so boring. That's all I got for you today. See ya.